Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. Some say that in order to run the latest version of Windows, you've got to take your PC to the tip and buy a brand new one. Some say that in order to be a real PC user, you've got to run Windows. Some even say that in order to be a fashion icon, you need to use Apple Mac. All I know is I'm running Linux Mint on an eways PC and it blows the former two the fuck away. Right out the water with pleasure. So today we're having a look at Linux Mint. This is the Cinnamon Edition 21.3 I think it is. Yep, there we go, 21.3. We're using the Intel Core 2 Duo E8400 CPU, which is a dual-core CPU at 3 gig. We've got 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 120 gigabytes of SATA SSD storage. That's all we've got. So <clears throat> I've run all the updates. No drivers necessary because I'm sporting an AMD Raiden 2 gigabyte graphics card, which again you can pick up off eBay for five to ten pounds the pc i bought off of ebay for 15 pounds and we're pretty much done i've got a great family quality pc that'll do pretty much everything i'd ever ask of it in 2024 and beyond so what have i done well i've brought the operating system down burnt it to a usb thumb drive and installed it on the pc i then ran all the updates that Linux Mint Cinnamon offers. Rebooted the PC. I then brought my software apps down. GIMP. Usual uh, suspect simple screen recorder so I could make this video. And last but not least, Google Chrome. Most apps are readily available out the box for Linux Mint. And right out of the software center that's inbuilt into the operating system. You don't need to ever open the terminal because like Windows and Mac this is a point and click operating system which is ideal for home users okay you don't need to learn Linux you don't need to know fuck all about Linux Linux doesn't matter because all Linux is like Windows and Mac is a platform to allow you to do what you want to do and the only app you really need to download is Google Chrome. Now, I can already see all the posts underneath the video. Uh, you've bought Google Chrome down. You're running Linux, trying to be, you know, super smart and using Google Chrome. What a gimp. What a chab. What a queb. Well, <clears throat> let me ask you this question. What can you do on the Internet without logging into Google? Oh, yeah. Fuck all. What's the best web browser on the planet bar none? Google Chrome. It's just got the best codecs, the best build. That's why the whole world, his wife and his daughter, base their web browsers off of Google Chrome. It's number one for a fucking reason. Because it works and it's awesome. Yes, it might be Google. So what? Get over yourself. So you can literally do everything with Google Chrome. Now, just before the Windows fucking fanboys start posting underneath the video, oh, it won't run Valorant. Oh, you can't use the Adobe suite. Oh, it won't run Microsoft Office 365. Well, your average everyday run-of-the-mill ho-hum home users are not doing any of those tasks. They're doing a bit of internet, a bit of email, a bit of shopping, a bit of browsing, a bit of YouTubing. Eh, maybe a bit of gaming and this sort of setup is more than good enough for them to get their shit done so the next thing i did after doing all the uh, software installs was to run time shift and time shift allows me to take a full snapshot of the pc and store it on the ssd and then to do a restore is simplicity itself so time shift is included with Linux Mint out of the box and I recommend you do a minimum of a weekly backup depending on the size of your hard drive. 
an SSD will really, really help you out here. However, if you don't have an SSD, if you only have a old spin type HDD, it's good enough. It will still do it for you and be reliable and absolutely fine. But I can't stress to you enough, back your system up. More important than that, remember to do a restore and test that backup to make sure that the backup is genuinely of use. Don't just assume. Once you've taken your backup, you've installed all your updates, what is there to do? Oh yeah, fuck all. All you've got to do is do whatever you want to do. Enjoy your shopping, enjoy your internet, enjoy your YouTube, enjoy your Netflix, enjoy watching your movies. And it's really that simple. There's nothing more to add. Oh yeah, you might want to create accounts separately for everybody in your family. Uh, and that's a pretty easy thing to do. And rather than taking Windows advice and taking your PC to the tip and e-wasting it, <coughs> put Linux Mint on it because I tell you what, people, you won't be disappointed. Put any Linux on it. And you won't be disappointed. You can theme it. You can make it look fucking gorgeous. Or you can just run it stock default straight out of the box. Either way, I can't get over to you how good the experience is on any Linux on your PC. Please post your comments underneath. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Hebes video.